Hi, this is Lauren from Daisy Cottage Designs, and today I'm here with a video tutorial for you on the ripple stitch. The ripple stitch is one of my favorite crochet techniques, and I've used it in dozens of projects through the years, and I've written several patterns that feature this stitch. This stitch is not difficult to make, but sometimes it trips people up in the beginning, so I wanted to make this video to try to answer any questions you might have. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab an eye or a nine crochet hook, which is a five and a half millimeter hook and some worsted weight yarn. And you're going to want to work your starting chain. Now the starting chain for this pattern needs to be in a multiple of 14 plus two. So the Daisy Cottage Designs ripples start with either a chain of 100, which is 14 times seven. That gives you 98 plus two, which is where we get 100, or 114. But for today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just work a swatch. So we're going to start with a chain of 30. Now, if you've never worked the ripple stitch before, I highly encourage you to start with just a swatch. It's a lot easier to find a mistake and fix your issues when your project is this size compared to a full-size blanket. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to work a chain of 30. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there's our first set of fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. There's our second set of 14. And then 29 and 30. There's our plus two. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So here's one, two, and three. So we'll double crochet into that third chain from the hook. Oops. So what you should have is a chain two and a double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So here's one, two, three, and four. And now it's time to make our first valley. In order to make a valley or the dip in the ripple pattern, you're going to work two double crochet two togethers. So you're gonna double crochet two together over the next two stitches, and then you're going to double crochet two together and the two stitches after that. Let me show you how to work a double crochet two together. So you're gonna yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain and pull up a loop. There are gonna be three chains on your hook, so you're gonna yarn over and pull through those first two loops. Now, usually to finish a double crochet, you would yarn over and pull through these two loops, but instead we're gonna yarn over and insert our hook into the next chain and pull up a loop. There are four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and now yarn over and pull through all three loops. So we just finished our first double crochet two together. So let's make our next double crochet two together. So we're gonna yarn over and insert our hook into the next chain and pull up a loop. There are three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook. Yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain and pull up a loop. There are four loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So we just made our first valley. And so now we're gonna work one double crochet in each of the next four chains. So here's one, two, three, and 
and four. So we just finished that fourth. And now we're going to work our first peak or our next peak. So we're going to work two double crochets in the next chain and two double crochets into the chain after that. So here's one. And now we're going to work our second double crochet into the same chain and two. And now we're going to work two double crochets into the next chain as well. So here's one. And another one into that same chain. And now we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next four chains. So here's one. two, three, and four. And now it's time to make our next valley because let's see what we have so far. See, we've come down, we've gone back up. Now we need to make our next valley. So we're gonna work two double crochet two togethers over the next four stitches. So one over these two and one over these two. So let's do that together. So we'll yarn over, <coughs> excuse me, and insert our hook into the next chain and pull up a loop. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain and pull up a loop. There's four loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. And now yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's our first double crochet two together. Now we're going to do another one over the next two stitches. So we'll yarn over, insert our hook into the next chain and pull up a loop. There are three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. And now yarn over and pull through all three loops. So there are five stitches remaining. So we're gonna work one double crochet into each of the next four chains. Here's one. two, three, and four. There's one chain left. We're going to wear, we are going to work two double crochets into the last chain. So here's one, and two. Oops. So let's take a look at what we have. So your work should look like this at the end of row one. So let's pick it back up and let's chain two to turn our work. And we're going to double crochet in the very first stitch. So the chain two and the double crochet count as two double crochets in the first stitch. And now we're gonna work one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So here's one, two, three, and four. Now we're back to our valley. 
So we're going to double crochet two together over the next two stitches and then double crochet two together over the two stitches after that. So let's work those together. We'll yarn over, insert our hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are four loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops and yarn over and pull through all three loops. We need to work one more double crochet two together so we'll yarn over and insert our hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Now yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are four loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops and yarn over and pull through all three loops. We're gonna double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So here's one, two, three, and four. And now we're at the top of our peak. So we're gonna work two double crochets into the next stitch and two double crochets into the stitch after that. So here's one and two, both worked into that same stitch. And now we're gonna work two into the next stitch. So here's one, and two, and now we're going to double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So here's one, two, three, and four. And now we're back to a valley, so we're going to double crochet two together over these two stitches, and then double crochet two together over the two stitches after that. So yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that was our first double crochet two together. Now we need to work one more. So yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are four loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through those first two loops. Now yarn over and pull through all three loops. There are five stitches remaining, including our chain two. So we're gonna double crochet in the next four stitches, and then I'll tell you what to do with the chain two after that. So let's double crochet in the next stitch. So there's one, two, three, and four. And sometimes people think they're finished after working into that last stitch, but don't forget to work into your turning chain. So now what we need to do is we need to work two double crochets into the top of the turning chain. So there's one, and there's two. So 
So at the end of row two, your work should look something like this. And let's make one more row together. So we'll chain two and turn our work. We're gonna double crochet into that first stitch. Now we're gonna double crochet into each of the next four stitches. I think I pointed to five, so one, two, three, and four. So here's one, two, three, and four. Now we're gonna double crochet two together over the next two stitches. So yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's our first double crochet two together. Now we're gonna work our next double crochet two together over the next two stitches. So yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops yarn over and pull through all three loops. We're, double, we're going to double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So here's one, two, three, and four. Four. We're going to work two double crochets into each of the next two stitches. So here's one and then two right back into that same stitch. And now we're going to work one and two into the next stitch. Now we're going to double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So here's one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to double crochet two together, together over these next two stitches. Now we're gonna work our second double crochet two together. Now we're gonna double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So there's one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to end with two double crochets into the top of the chain two at the end of the row. So into the top of our turning chain. So here's one, and then two right back into that same spot. So 
So you should have something that looks like this after row three. So remember, you're going to have two double crochets into the first stitch of each row, and then you're gonna have one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Then you're gonna have two double crochet twos together, and then you're gonna double crochet in each of the next four stitches, and then you're gonna have two increases, which is just two double crochets into the same stitch, and then one double crochet into each of the next four stitches, and then you'll have two double crochet two togethers, and then you'll have one double crochet into each of the next four stitches, and then you'll end with two double crochets into the turning chain at the end of the row. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, and if not, I hope you have a great day and happy crocheting.